Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel today. Uh, today in SnapMaker software, we are going to learn how to generate the G code for the program uh, to transfer over to the machine. Now, I know I'm doing this a little bit backwards because we've already made a print, but for those that haven't done this yet and haven't figured it out or just interested to see how it works without don't have the machine um, in software you go over here it says generate G code but first you will have to have a file to get the code from the files and everything so we are going to go to which is a favorite site of mine and we are going to pull up a file which actually has something to do with the snap maker it's designed for it so here we are on thingiverse.com here is the SnapMaker accessory box, storage box. Um, it holds two of the tool heads on the top. There is space for your CNC tooling, um, hex wrenches, bolts, tools, your scrapers here, what have you, a couple extra things. Um, holds two heads and where is it? There you go. On the side. Here's a little trash can right here. It's part of it. So what you want to do is go ahead and go to the top of this and click download. So now when you hit that button, come down over here and you will see SnapMaker access zip file has popped up. We're gonna go ahead and click on that. Once you get the file unzipped, you're gonna come back to SnapMaker and you want to go to add. And then you're gonna go into your files. And you're going to select what files that you want and you're going to bring it into the SnapMaker program. I'm going to go for my box 1.0. So I went ahead and added the trash can. It's over here on the side. I'm going to take and pull that away from the side of it because I don't want it to be actually part of the larger print. It's supposed to go on the side over here. So once you've made it this far, you're going to go over here and you're going to hit generate g-code and do the slicing for you down here at the bottom only takes a couple seconds and it's done we're going to go over here to load g-code to workspace takes a short minute and there it is there we go yeah you get the idea of it one thing that it matters is you can see where it's at. It shows the field, the path that it's going to travel there on the side around here. So once this is loaded like this, it's ready to go. All you have to do is click send to device via Wi-Fi and it will go. My device is currently working in the workspace right now, so that's why that's not popping up. But that is how you load the G code file and create it and get it ready to send to the machine. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys like this. Uh, if you got any other ideas or comments or anything like that, please leave them below. Um, remember to like and subscribe, and thanks. We'll have another video up soon.